I just replaced these little lithium batteries with these giant server rack batteries in our 40 foot bus conversion. And if you are building a school bus conversion or upgrading your RV, you might be in the same position I was in a couple of months ago, trying to rack my brain around which batteries to buy and how much to spend. So today I'll share with you everything I've learned and my top picks for lithium batteries for your RV, school bus conversion, van, or other mobile dwelling. We'll discuss whether you need a 12 volt system, 24 volt system, 48 volt system, what form factor you should buy, how many amp hours or batteries you might need. And finally, we'll discuss whether you should buy the absolute best quality or uh, pick a budget option. Let's get into it. So 12 volt, 24 volt, or 48 volts, what does it mean and what do you need? Well, I used to be a firefighter, so I'm gonna use this extremely simple concept, I hope, to explain to you guys how voltage works. Let's say you have a fire hose. You can have a big fire hose or you can have a smaller fire hose, and the size of the fire hose is the volts. Need to shoot a lot of water on a fire? Maybe in a bus it would be running two air conditioners? You need a big fire hose, 48 volts. If you just need to put out your little campfire with a garden hose, that's more like 12 volts. And that would be like for a van or an RV that doesn't even have a big inverter, maybe doesn't have an inverter at all. So to make it simple, if you have a 1500 watt inverter in your RV or your van, or maybe no inverter, stick with 12 volts. If you have a 3000 watt inverter, like we've got in our bus and you wanna run a mini split and maybe electric water heating and maybe induction cooking, probably 48 volts, but possibly 24 volts. But if you have a big rig with over 2000 watts of solar on your roof and you wanna be completely unlimited with your electrical consumption, you definitely want 48 volts. Forget about everything else and there's another reason to pick 48 volts there are so many options for server rack batteries and all-in-one charge controller inverter chargers with 24 volts you have almost no options so if you want all of the options available to you definitely pick the 48 volts. So now that you have the voltage figured out, let's talk about the form factor. You have three options and the choice will depend on the space that you have available. Do you have a rig that already has a lead acid or a lithium battery bank like an RV? If that's the case, you probably have group 31 size batteries. Maybe you have two, maybe you have four. They're in a compartment. Maybe you're gonna keep your batteries in that compartment. And if that's the case, you're gonna go for a small form factor like a group 31 battery or a larger one that is similar in size to that compartment. But if you're building your own space, like in your own RV or a van or a bus conversion, then you get to decide what the form factor is. So you're probably not gonna pick any Group 31 batteries. You'll probably buy larger format, but not server rack batteries or server rack batteries. So for a 12 volt system, Group 31 batteries or larger form factor, but not server rack batteries. If you are building a 24 volt system, you've got options for large form factor 24 volt batteries, like the 24 volt 100 amp hour option here from WattCycle, or you can go for the server rack battery like we did in our bus. And if you're building a 48 volt system, the server rack battery is a no brainer. You're gonna need a lot of batteries and a lot of space to run a big off-grid rig like this and run your whole life. You need 48 volts, you need server rack batteries. Forget about all the other options, forget about them. Now let's talk about whether you want to splurge on the best option, the highest quality, or if you want to go for the low budget and take a little bit of a gamble. Well, to me, that all comes down to what you're using your rig for. Is it an RV or a camper that you are literally camping in and often going to campgrounds and plugging it in? If that's the case, you probably don't need to buy the best quality product. You don't need a 10 year warranty. But if you're gonna depend on your rig full time, live in it with your family, need that air conditioning, need your appliances to work, I'm going to spend the money to get the good quality stuff. I really need these things to work all the time. So buying from somebody like City Nature Solar, where you get a 10 year warranty, they only sell good products. They're going to give you support over the phone. They're going to take your phone calls. They're going to help you solve your problems. I'm going to spend additional money, pay for that if I'm depending on this rig. We were at Lake Powell in this rig. It was like 100 degrees out. There were dust storms everywhere. We needed our batteries to function. I bought batteries that at the time were from a reputable American distributor and they worked for us. We got through that week, we ran the air conditioner. It was great. It was hot, but it was great. So for a rig like this, where you're carrying around your family, go for the high quality. So with that out of the way, my pick for 12 volt group 31 and small form factory batteries is watt cycle. They have a ton of options, lots of form factors. Almost all of them have low temperature shutoff, which you need. Some of them have smart features like Bluetooth, which you might consider. They have pretty much the best prices always. They ship completely for free. They have a five year warranty, which is acceptable. And this new battery that watt cycle just released is my top pick. It's a 12 volt, 314 amp hour battery. It's a mini, it's 60 pounds. It's bigger than a group 31, but smaller than one of those big, big 24 volt, 200 amp hour batteries. And you only need one, maybe two of these to have a pretty robust off-grid system for a camper. If you wanna buy this battery or any of the WattCycle offerings, you can use my coupon code 
dwellings at checkout for an additional 8% off of your order. Be on the lookout for a sale because you can stack my coupon code on top of their sales. For example, right now you can get two of these for less than $1,000, and that's more power than I had the entire time I was living in our bus Killigan Phantom. Not this one, this is Bluey. Yeah, <laughs> it's a battery on a rock. So what is my upgrade pick for a 12 volt small form factor system? I don't have one. Keep your money to go have fun on your adventures in your camper. You can replace these, they're so inexpensive, you're not buying that many. So if you're picking a 24 volt system and you want my budget option, it's once again at Watt Cycle. There's less options here now. So I've got the 24 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Maybe you want one of those, maybe you want two of those. Above that, I think you should go for the server rack batteries because the form factor makes it less expensive. And at 24 volts, my upgrade option, which probably most of you will want, is the EG4 server rack battery that we just installed here. It is UO listed, it has built-in fire arresters, it has these giant lugs which you can connect anything to, it has a 10-year warranty, it's rated for 15 years, and people all over the world are depending on this for their livelihood. Definitely recommend it. If you buy anything from Signature Solar, you can get an additional $50 off your order with my coupon code SAVE50MOBILE, but these coupon codes change, so check the description below, or if you're watching this on the TV and you've got your phone, go to schooliesupport.com. You can see each of my battery recommendations, which change on occasion to get you the best price. And I'm often updating these discounts as well. And at 48 volts, because I'm only considering the server rack form factor, there's two options here. If you really need the most budget-friendly option because you just don't have the money and maybe you're okay with uh, things not working out or upgrading in the future, for just $889, you can get a 48 volt, eco-worthy, 100 amp hour server rack battery. The quality is not quite there with the EG4, but the price is almost half at this point. You can find this battery at shopsolar.com and you can use my code JUICEBOX at checkout for $101 off your order. Sorry, the coupon codes are getting very confusing. And for the best quality 48 volt battery that you can buy, it's once again the EG4 48 volt, 100 amp hour V2 with the fire arresters, with the 10 year warranty, with the 15 year life cycle expectation. If you've made it this far and you're still not sure about what to get, you can join my Patreon. It's completely for free. You can send me a message there. There's a link to it at schoolysupport.com. And if you want one-on-one -on -one help with your build, which I'm happy to provide to you, you can get unlimited monthly consulting from myself and also professional bus builder, Chuck Cassidy, who you may have come across before. We both do this unlimited consulting thing and we love to help people figure out their problems, build their off-grid systems, get their rigs converted and get on the road.